Okay, let's see. Uh, what supplies and training do you have available, hmm? I have a small stock of supplies, and I can also train you to be more precise and focused in battle. My name is well-earned, some tell me. Have a look and tell me what you need. I'm collecting the silver to honor the men we lost to these accursed ghosts. Of course. Um, flawed gem, body plus one, flawed monk gem, spear plus one, slick gem. Minus ten focus, cost for evading traps, meh. Storm dragon style, ooh, support style. Does direct damage in chi strike mode. This style's area of attack can initiate a harmonic combo and produce a focus power up. Forms The forms and strikes of Storm Dragon enable the master to call upon the power of lightning to damage an opponent. While the style's attacks do not cause any direct damage, its motion summon forth electricity to course through the victim, doing a small but constant amount of damage over time. Storm Dragon will really win a fight on its own, but combined with the other styles, can easily change the tide of a difficult battle. Meh, meh, I don't know. Hmm... I don't think it's worth it. I've got plenty of styles right now. Uh, chi plus 15, focus plus 3. Ooh, that might be worth it. Health plus 7, chi minus 3. Focus plus 7, charm minus 1. Intuition plus 3, chi minus 5. I could probably afford all of these. Yeah, let's do that. Poichus. Poichus. Because while it does have some negatives, overall, it adds to it, you know? So, I don't think I really want you. I wouldn't be able to afford you even if I did want you. Woohoo! Look, I'm no good with forests, trees, or temples. If you want to talk about that stuff, Spear's your man. Alright. How did you end up in this forest? You know how it goes. I don't. You wander the countryside, maybe set fire to a few fields, pass out behind a barn, get chased by farm dogs. Before you know it, you're here, talking with you. Uh huh. Why are you called a black whirlwind? It gets me the ladies. I see. Does that actually work? Ah, of course not. Just look at me. A lady's got to be damn drunk before she'd be impressed by my name. So where did the name come from? Well, there was that time during the fall of the Nine Fathers, when I would crash down on a town like a black storm of death, rending flesh from bone. I was a force of destruction. The streets ran red with blood and everyone I approached screamed, The Black Whirlwind is here! It might have been that, or maybe I thought it up when I was drunk. Either way, it stuck. <laughs> uh, that's all I need. Good. I'm going to see if I can find some hidden stocks of sacramental wine. Tastes terrible, but it does the trick. Right. Well, have fun with that. Greetings, my friend. Have you had any luck finding the crystal? I haven't even moved five feet. So, no. No, I have not. Alright. I have some questions for you? Of course. I may be able to shed some light on the forest for you. I know this area very well, as I often meditate here upon my purpose and philosophy before a hunt. Um, let's talk about the forest shadow. She's an ancient fox spirit who has always stood guardian over these woods. But now ghosts gather, the trees grow sick, and she seems powerless to stop any of it. Um, why would the forest shadow attack me? An attack? That's... that's not right. She's never been known to attack anyone. I've hunted this forest on my lord's behalf for a decade and had no trouble. Um... Would there be a reason she would attack someone from the inn? Not that I can think of, but I haven't yet visited the Pilgrim's Rest. Could they have incurred her wrath? Perhaps you should ask them. Uh, could this all be her fault? It is true that spirits can grow fickle. Some become vindictive, punishing men for imagined crimes. The forest shadow, though, has been constant for centuries. Hmm. 
All right. What else did you need? Let's see. Okay, that's it. Step safely. The ghosts grow more aggressive by the hour. Yeah, so it would seem. All right, let's quick save. And let's go to the end. Hello, what's over here? Oh, hi there! Ow. Ow. Holy cow, holy shenanigans. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god! Well then, let's reload the game, shall we? You know what I could use? A shrine. You know. Like, what are those things right there? Oh, wait, that only does focus, doesn't it? Oh, well. Guess that's better than nothing. The Dragon of the Storms being an argument on the origin of focus. Min Shi, the Dragon of Storms, was a master who lived hundreds of years before the formation of the Jade Empire. Legends of her exploits could fill a library, and while the veracity of such fables must be questioned, all the yarns agree that she formalized the teachings of the Storm Dragon style and brought knowledge of true focus to the martial arts. Debates still rage on the subject, but the evidence is there, is there to support such claims. Take, for instance, the harmonic combinations initiated by Storm Dragon invariably allow the user to collect his thoughts and steal some of the opponent's focus essence. Such a synergy is hard to dismiss, and when I questioned Jan the Iron Fist, a master of some renown, he replied, Only a fool denies legends. They're, they always hold a grain of truth. Jian speaks wisely, would it be so hard to accept that Storm Dragon was developed to make it easier for its adepts to achieve true focus in battle? This author, author thinks not. Interesting. Temple Records, a collection of logs, notes, and records maintained by the Yun family up until roughly 15 years ago. One entry catches your eye. My son seems utterly disheartened in the temple. I worry that he pays no attention to the lessons I try to impart. The key, of course, remains in knowing that the seasons which most affect a forest are summer and winter, and the colors associated with these two seasons. If I am right and my lessons fly from his head as quickly as they can, uh, then I fear for his safety should he attempt the ritual incorrectly. These furnaces are an ancient magic, and, and ancient magics draw dark attentions. Another note entered a bit later reads, As I feared, my son pays little heed. Perhaps I will install something to remind him. Violet is not our family color, but I hope it can be a potent reminder. Okay. Is there a chi shrine somewhere? No. Of course not. Why would there be... All right, well, let's go. Let's uh let's quick save. And let's try this again. Thief, spirit thief. Ow. Ow. Right, I need to get enough chi to start doing my magic. Okay, that's enough. Whoa! Ow. Gotcha. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, so lucky. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> you hit the wrong person. You dip. 
Ow. Didn't hit the wrong person that time. Oh man, more. Nice. Okay, that went a lot better. Oh god, it's not over. Okay. Get out of the way. Go. Ah. No. 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 Okay. Nice. Let's save my chi. Let's heal up. Let's let Dawnstar heal me just a bit. Come on, then. Alright, that's good enough. Oh my god, there's more. Oh, I am so happy I recovered a bit here. Uh. Nice. Ah! Ow! Ow! Oh, come on! <laughs> Why did it keep coming? This is no bueno. All right, who's next? Oh, is that it? Seriously? Okay, let's quick save that. Jeez. All right, yeah, what is this for? What does it do? I don't understand. I don't get it. Pilgrim's Rest in. Yeah. There's something not right. This place feels all wrong. Dire place. Oh, hey, there's one behind me, too. Oh, joy. Ow. Ah. Jeez. Quick save again! I mean, these fights are kind of hard. I don't want to do them again. There we go. Woohoo! Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, hey, barrels. I haven't checked those barrels out. Anything here? No? Oh, okay. Before we go talk to anyone, let's go see if there's anything of value up here. Nope, doesn't look like it. I watched in awe as you dispatched those things. Not many of your kind can deal with ghosts as easily as you do. Uh huh. I'm surprised anyone's still alive up here. Yes, the ghosts are most dangerous. We are fortunate that they have not yet ventured inside the inn. It offers us some refuge. How? Why? But I've forgotten myself. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, traveler. I am the keeper, as they call me. Okay. Uh, tell me, did you happen to come across one of us on your way up? We sent him not long ago to search for help. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, he was killed. 
It was the forest, Shadow. She's taken another from us. We hoped we had found a way to deal with the fox, but we were wrong. You have you lost many people to the forest, Shadow? Some. She does not attack us here at the inn. Those few we have dared send out to the forest do not return. We have tried so hard to find a way to end the fox's attacks. She must be stopped. We thought we were close, but no. How did you plan to deal with her? Well, that is quite the thing to ask, isn't it? Quite the thing indeed. How are we to know we could trust you? Because I'm not a fox? We do not trust the hunter at the temple, for instance. That is why we will not give him what he seeks. Wait, what? Yes, we have the missing crystal from the temple. We have kept it here safe and away from the hunter. Why? Why, why would you do that? Why? Why? Because we could not trust anyone else to have it. One of us here in the inn overheard the hunter and the big man, who are now at the Four Shadows Temple. The hunter spoke of a ritual that would let him reach the forest shadow. But he's a fool. He thinks to find the fox and seek out her help. Her help. She will not help anyone, least of all us at the inn. To save the hunter from his own folly, we took the crystal before he could reach the temple. You stole the crystal to stop the ritual from being performed? That is it exactly. Whatever the ritual does, if it reaches the forest shadow, then we must take the opportunity to destroy her once and for all. He would not have taken that chance. I must know that you will use it for the right reasons. You must kill the forest shadow. Do so, and I will give you a half year's worth of taxes in silver. Yeah, I, I'm not here to kill anyone, especially not a spirit of the forest. Where would a humble innkeeper get that kind of money, anyway? We are a long way from the Imperial City here. The tax collector's arms are only so long, you know. I have been carefully collecting this silver for years, but the death of the murderous fox is more important. Why are you so positive that she has to die? Look around even this hill. Surely you can see the corruption. What creature would be powerful enough to cause such a thing? This so-called guardian of the forest must be behind what's happening here. She sickens the trees and summons the ghosts. There can be no other way. The forest shadow must die to save us and cure this forest. Hmm. Huh. Well, if you have those kind of resources, why not do this yourself? I have silver, but money does not grant skill. Not skills like yours. We need your help. I think it's obvious what I have to do. You will aid us. You must. <sighs> um. Give me the crystal. I'll make sure she's eliminated. Hmm. Yeah. Very well. Consider it a deal between us. The crystal is yours, but remember our deal. You should go to the temple to the west. Find a way to reach the fox and destroy her however you can. Succeed, and the silver will be yours. Now go. Hmm. Let's talk to when other people. When will more come? Leave me to my food. Unless you want some of it. <laughs> Leave me to my food. The forest is closed. None will come. Leave me to my food. The Leave me to my food. Hello. 
There is still food in the undercaves. We will be fine. You are too big. Your size makes you weak. Aha. Uh -huh. See the keeper if you wish to talk. You are too big. Your size makes you weak. So, I think Jumong, he's not a fan of lying, but these people obviously were not going to give that gem up. He needs the gem to contact the Fox Queen, and lying seemed the most non-violent way of achieving that goal. He doesn't want to have to beat up a bunch of innocent people, even if they are a bit strange. And he needs to talk to the Fox Queen, so, you know, a lie. Leave me to my food, unless you want some of it. Ha <laughs> ha Hello. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, where the patron is the most important part of our business. Mm hmm I am Ho, your humble cook. I'm also in charge of the few supplies the inn actually stocks, if you have need of them. Though I am weary and work to the bone, I'm here to help you. What can I do for you today? Show me what you have for sale. I'd be happy to. I'm sure you understand that my stocks are limited. In fact, if you think about it, with the ghosts filling the forest, I shouldn't have any supplies at all. I suppose that is a bit odd. Yes, yes it is. Ah well, have a look, and tell me if you see anything you like. Wait a second, what are you trying to tell me here? Gem of struggle? Body plus two, mind plus two, spirit plus two, only the way of close fists may have this gem. Aha! Alright, well I don't need anything from you. Hello again. Can I interest you in some of my simple items? Can I ask you a few questions about the forest? I don't know much about this forest at all. I was only passing through when I, uh, stopped at this inn. It turned out to be a longer stay than I anticipated. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. However, as shopkeeper, I do have some items that you might be interested in. Hmm. You just arrived, and you're already keeping a shop here at the inn? How very lucky for me. I seem to just stumble into these situations. There's not much I can tell you, to be fair. You should ask the Keeper. I'm sure he'll be happy to tell you his side of things. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know anything about the Forest Shadow? I don't really go in for celestial politics, but I will say that it's awfully odd that the inn folk seem to hate her so. To hear them talk, she's practically insane with bloodlust. But everything here seems perfectly normal, wouldn't you say? Aha. Uh -huh. Something very strange here. What are you hinting at? There's nothing. It's nothing. I, I just thought, well, I was hoping that... Would you like a bun? Uh... If you're worried about your safety, I can protect you. Perhaps you could, though I'm not so sure. Go and speak to the innkeeper. Ask him about the twisted servants of the mother. See how he reacts to that. Be prepared when you speak to him. That's all I'm saying about this. Okay. I should go. Take very good care. A twisted mother, eh? The Keeper, you say? Get everything in these barrels, you say? <laughs> Wait, I didn't say that! No, no, I heard it! Ow! Oh, my eyes again with the eyes! Oh my! That's gonna be good for my future. Oh, hello. What's this? What? What's this? The tricksters, the fox spirits, are among the most wily and deceptive of all the minions of heaven. They think nothing of playing games with mortals, and they often follow no rules at all. Though some are said to serve honorably in the celestial bureaucracy, many more have made it their mark... Uh, made their mark in more sinister ways. Tales of demons snatching children from their beds, husbands and wives led astray, and good men led into lives of excess and murderous depravity are all the work of these spirits. Never, should you value your life, trust one of these breed completely, no matter how honorable their intentions seem. Huh. Fair enough. Hey! You must join us for dinner. 
You would be a most welcome addition. Yeah, I'm sure I would be. Look, um, what is the mother? The mother? Nothing. Nothing at all. You should not speak nonsense when the forest shadow is still alive. Uh, there's something wrong with this inn. What's really going on? Ooh, you truly wish to know. Your mind will not rest until you have an answer. You are lucky that I sense such great strength from you. Had you dealt with those ghosts out front with less efficiency, I would tear your throat out. That's very rude. Oh, please. Allow me to reveal all that you wish to see. Let me show you the truth. Yeah, your customer service here is deplorable. Huh. Gaze upon our forms and bask in our glory. You should be honored to see the true strength of the cannibals. The what now? It's them. Their corruption is what I've been feeling in this forest. They are vile. Huh. Are you happy now that you have the answer to your prying questions? No, of course not. You wish to know more. You are drawn to our majesty. Uh, I wouldn't quite say that. What, what, ma what magic has allowed you to cloak yourself so? Intriguing, yes? Such power is hard to resist. You must understand that we are servants of a powerful demon known as the Mother, who has taught us to draw strength from human flesh. Huh. The forest shadow imprisoned her millennia ago, but soon she will be free. You will help us with that, or you will die. I see. I'm not going to say that because that's not in character. Why should I help you? We have made you an offer. The bargain was vast amounts of your precious silver for the life of the forest shadow. Now we add your life to the deal as well. Uh -huh. The fox holds the mother trapped within the earth of this hill. But she can hold nothing with dying paws. Uh... Tell me more about the mother. She is a most powerful creature from the time when primal hunger ruled all of your kind. She has been trapped in this hill for centuries, trapped by the fox. But as the dead grow restless, she feels their anger, their rage, and their hunger for release. They feed the mother, and she grows strong as the ghosts flock to her. She reached out to us. We are her children, and I am first among them. Okay, well, I've made my decision. Wait, what if I killed the mother? Would that free you from this curse? You are so very stupid. What the mother has given us is no curse. This is power. Is it now? We eat the flesh of your kind, and its energies make us strong. The mother has beautified us in return for serving her. Be beautified you? You oh. should not speak of killing the mother. It is a sacrilege that makes our blood boil with rage. I see. Oh, yes, her beauty is in the eye of the beholder and all that, so I've made my decision. What will it be? Do you value your life, or will you play the fool? Ooh, ooh, I love the fool. Uh, yeah, you must be destroyed. There's no other answer. You just don't understand. You will. Uh-huh. You gonna teach me Tear their short stuff? Pieces. We will feast tonight on those succulent flanks. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, he's ice. Ow, stop it, stop it, stop it. You cut it out. Gotcha. Ah, nope, nope. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, no, no. Boom. No! Curses. Gosh darn it. Alright. Legendary, legendary strike. Ah, missed. Oh boy. 
Okay. I need some chi. He's immune to it. Curses. Let's use the staff. Go. Come on. Right, come on, gotta finish him first. Gotcha. Back to dire flame. These guys are slow. I can start using my this thing on them. In fact, I could even do this and probably get quite a few of them. Nice. Come on. Well, that's not the one I wanted to hit, but okay. You know what? Hey, hey how about we focus on the guy that's nearby? Huh? How's that, Jumon? There you go. There's a good lad. Okay, almost out of cheat. Let's go to a legendary strike. Alright. Come on. There we go. You cannot compare. Yeah, let's clear the area a little bit. Ow. All right, another one down. All right. Bam. I should finish him off. I should finish him off. All right. One more. Nice. Woohoo! Bye. Dire flame. Oh, I mean, hi. Okay. You are finished. Okay. Plenty of energy to take these guys out. Get out of this corner over here. Ah. <laughs> yes, block it. That's a beautiful strategy. Well done. Well played, old boy. God, I love this magic. Is that it? Are we done? Are we done? That was astonishing. I haven't seen such martial skills in an eatery since the last time I added ginger to my wife's hot and sour soup. Ah, <laughs> I get it. Thank you for your great kindness in rescuing me. Now that these beasts are dead, I can finally talk to you. My name is Henpecked Ho, and before you ask, I'm not one of those monsters. They kept me prisoner so that I could seem normal to the customers. Uh-huh. Pleased to meet you. Uh, did you just say Henpecked? My wife is unique. To say that she is as enduring as the wall itself is to do a disservice to her persistence. Aha. Uh -huh. I could make similar comparisons between the force of her will and the Imperial Army, but I think you have the picture. Why don't you just leave her? You have no idea what you're suggesting. The last I saw of her, she was in the Imperial City. I was due back more than a week ago, and if she hasn't torn the place down looking for me, I'll be surprised. That's beside the point for now. I must thank you, as I clearly owe you my life. These cannibals were getting desperate enough to cook even someone as ropey as me. The last thing I needed was to be dragged into the caves below. Uh-huh. There are caves below this inn? I heard a lot about the caves from the cannibals. There's something down there they call the Mother, and I think she, it, whatever, is what made them what they are. I see. 
What do you know about this mother? She is some sort of greater demon the cannibals serve. I think she's the reason they're as twisted as they are. From what I overheard, the mother was trapped in this hill before Sagacious Chen forged the Jade Empire. But something has disturbed her. I don't know how or why this mother of theirs has returned to the world. But if she can do this to men, she must be stopped. Agreed. How do we reach the caves? That is something I do not know. They would leave the inn and then return. I wasn't in a position to ask for details. Okay. Alright, that's enough. Is there anything else that I can help you with? Hmm. Uh, no. They aren't even to explain both of those. I think I know all I want to know. You killed the cannibals up here, but there's more in the caves below. I don't know how they got in or out, or how they took prisoners down there. I do know that they were terrified of something called the Forest Shadow. I'm willing to bet that would be a good place to start. If you're planning to tackle these beasts, I want to help. In my own way, of course. I'm not much with my fists. Not anymore, anyway. Mm-hmm. But you'd be surprised what tricks an old bun master might know. Have you ever heard of Drunken Master style? I may have come across it, but I've never seen it. I was a master, top of my game, and well known in Phoenix Gate, one of the great cities in the prosperous East. My skills earned me fame, fortune, and a wife. So you... can you teach me, Drunken Master? Teaching is all I can do. As I said, fame, fortune, and a wife. I discovered fairly early on that she had opinions, most of them regarding alcohol and my regular consumption of it. Ha uh ha. -huh. I can still teach you, though. She has never expressly forbidden that. I have a few bottles on me right now if you'd like to learn. I would love to learn. Teach me. Pay attention. I don't like repeating myself. Now, when I am with you, I can throw you bottles of wine. You must pick these up in order to use Drunken Master. Hmm. The effect wears off quickly, but I will make sure you don't run out of wine, as long as you keep the enemies off of me. Now, watch my technique. Hmm. Dire flame! <laughs> Drunken master! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> What's the, uh... Nice. <laughs> That's funny. There, you got it. Your job isn't done, though. There are still more cannibals in the hill. I don't know how to get in there, though. The cannibals were dead set against that forest shadow. They didn't want anyone going near the temple. Maybe you could find her and get some answers. Okay. Uh, I've cleared a path to the forest. Let's go to Tien's Landing. Well, it must be safer than this place. Good luck. You'll need it, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'll work with Drunken Master later. Uh, for another time! I guess.